My students, I want to continue the sex labor inheritance, another trend that is hemophilia. It's otherwise called various cases. The reason for that one, at the time of injury, when bleeding occurs, the normal clotting time is 3 to 5 minutes. The normal clotting time is 3 to 5 minutes. So that the blood becomes coagulated and preventing the loss of blood. But in the case of hemophilia persons, the blood fails to clot. And that means there is no clotting of blood. The consequence, there is no clotting of blood. Hence all various cases. This disease was first reported in Queen Victoria's family members when her grandson met an accident. There was a continuous bleeding and later it was known the bladder's disease. That was reported by John Cotto. John Cotto in 1803. John Cotto in 1803 just reported this disease. The pedigree of this disease was reported by Hall A. The pedigree was reported by Hall As it was reported in Queen Victoria's family, the isolated family members, not in normal members, it is called royal disease because it was reported in royal family members like Queen's families and King's families. Now, the hemophilia is because of the absence of certain factors. For normal clotting, we need 13 factors. They are named 1 to 13. They also have a name, fibrinogen, prothrombin, thromboplastin, and so on, calcium ions. These are all the different factors. Now, when a particular factor is absent, say an example of factor 8 or factor 9, factor 11 that results in the development of hemophilia. It is a hereditary disorder just like color blindness. It is due to a recessive x linked gene. So it is a recessive x linked trait. I mentioned there are 13 factors. So out of 13 factors, there are three factors are responsible for the development of three different types of hemophilia. One is hemophilia A. It is because of the absence of factor 8. Another one, hemophilia B, it is because of the absence of factor 9. And another one, just hemophilia C, this is because of the absence of factor 11. Out of these three factors, the first, sorry, out of these three, that is hemophilic conditions, hemophilia A and B, these are caused because of recessive x linked Whereas hemophilia C is due to autosomal recessive gene. It is because of the presence of recessive gene in the autosomes. Whereas the A and B are due to recessive x linked gene. This is about actually the fundamental one. We have to know about, we have to know more about it later in entrance paper. Now, it also follows the same type of inheritance as in color blindness. That is crisscross inheritance. Now I will represent simply what is happening. So when a marriage between a hemophilia father and a normal mother, in the effort generation, all the sons are normal. See, when father is hemophilic, definitely the opposite occurs in sons. They are normal. So this is a condition. And all the daughters are normal but carry. Normal but carry. So this is one condition. Suppose we are taking what is called actually a normal man. I am taking normal man. As in the case of color blindness. Normal man. And then hemophilia woman or mother. Hemophilia. The same pattern of inheritance as in color blindness. Now a marriage between a normal father and a hemophilia mother. In this case, again, when father is normal, definitely the sons are hemophilic. The sons are hemophilic. So hemophilia sons. But as per the daughter's concern, the same condition, they are normal but carry. They are normal but carry. So this is one condition just I mentioned about how far the character is being transmitted. Suppose, 
another marriage, I am taking that one, a similar illustration, a marriage between a normal man, a father, and a carrier mother. Carrier mother. Now we are getting, you see that one, that results in F2, as in the case of color by this. Once carrier mother, you know, there are actually two sons and two daughters, 50% that is what is called hemophilia, 50% normal. This is about the sons. If you want to know about the sons, you look at mother. If mother is carrier, automatically 50% of the sons are affected, 50% are normal. Then about the daughters, you look at father. If father is normal in such marriage, his own daughters normal. All daughters normal. That is, again in this one, 50% normal, 50% normal but carry, normal but carry, this is normal. So if father is normal, definitely all the daughters will be normal as in the case of color colors. I will take another one. Here, just I am taking what is called hemophilia, hemophilia. The inheritance is similar to color colors. And a carrier So here too we are getting four individuals, two daughters and two sons. Here there is no change. Out of the two sons, one is hemophilic, another one is normal. So as we have one's mother is carrier, there is no change with reference to the sons as in case of color. And about uh, that is father, we want to know the daughters. So, if father is hemophilia, definitely 50% hemophilia and 50% that is normal but carriers. The same inheritance, that's why I wrote in a, what is called in a simple way. Once mother is carrier, 50% of the sons are normal and 50% of the sons are hemophilia. Once, that is actually to know the sons to look at mother. To know the daughters, look at father. If father is hemophilia, definitely out of the two daughters, one is hemophilic, another one is carrier. That is normal but carrier. If father is normal, no change about the sons. But here, actually father is normal. All the daughters are normal. But 50% of the daughters are carrier. This is the same method of inheritance what we have in the case of our blindness. So it is a recessive, that is excellent in character. Mostly as in the case of, I mentioned color blindness, the males are affected more than the females. The reason for that one, they are hemicycles, the same condition as in the case of color blindness. So this is about hemophilia, as it is similar to, that is color blindness for inheritance. I am writing everything in a natural, you can understand, I will give a figure later. Okay, that's about hemophilia. The following images show how hemophilia is inherited. I show this. Let's see something about Y lineages. The genes present in the Y chromosomes are called Y lineages or for landing genes. For example, here we have presented gene A or there is a recessive gene at locus 3. These y genes do not have corresponding alleles in X chromosome because you know that one males are hemispheres. Here, the y genes are transmitted only to males, that is from father to son. You see, here the characters are transmitted only from male to male, not as in the case of X in the characters. There you see that one that is a zigzag inheritance or crisscross inheritance. But here there is no crisscross inheritance. The main characters are transmitted from father to son directly. Okay, this is number one. And these genes are transmitted from father, father to son and not to daughters. Because in females there is no white cross. So such genes are called for land genes. We have a number of characters. One character, say an example, hyper, hyper 
trichosis. Hypertrichosis. Trico the hair. So in the case of such, so these characters are found, found only in males, not in the case of females. Now in the case of males, you have observed in some individuals, all along the margins of the ear. All along the margins of the ear. All along the margins of the ear. In some males, not in the case of all cases, there are long hair surplus. And such condition is called hypertrichosis. It is a male character, present only in males, not in all cases. Because they are having the genes, only they have the characters. It is not a disease, it is only a condition. We also have some other characters. For example, this TDF, what we have, the testis development of fat. Due to the presence of SRYG, what we see already, this is also a wide degree character. TDF, testis development factor just determined by SR patients. We have also another disease, that is a disease, ichthyophis, ichthyophis, hysterix. This is a condition, hysterix, ichthyosis, hysterix. This is also seen in the case of a male, where we have long or we can say scales are present on the surface of the body and giving the appearance of somewhat small spines. That is why the condition is called porcupine man. Porcupine man. As in the case of porcupine, but not like that of long stiff needles, here there is small scales, dry scales, having the appearance of what is called actually the porcupine. That's why such people are called porcupine man. It is also an example for that is a, a condition of coiling digits. This is a disease and this is a condition. This is a factor encoded by a gene, a gene present in wild coins. This is not a disease. This is a condition. And this is only the disease. If the office is disease. So here the character is transmitted directly from male to male and not from male to female and then to male. So direct transmission from father to son. 